Hey everyone, it's Sabrina from Silver Heights Neighborhood Association, and today we have another craft from our Camp in a Box, and this is for week two of Camp in a Box, and the first craft we're going to do is our paper plate uh, jellyfish craft. So, what you're going to do is you should have in your Camp in a Box a paper plate, so you're going to take one out, and you're going to cut it in half. So I've already cut my paper plate in half, so you're just going to start off with half of your paper plate. And then the next thing you're gonna need for this craft is the string provided in the Camp in a Box. You can use, if you have ribbon at home, you can use ribbon. If you have different colors of strings that you wanna use, you can use that. But for today, I'm just gonna use the string that we provided in your Camp in a Box as well. The next thing you're going to need is some scissors just to cut out the string to make the jellyfish. And you're going to need some paint if you would like to decorate your jellyfish. You can use paint, you can use markers. I'm going to use a mixture of both of the paint that we provide you guys in the Camp in a Box and markers that I have here separately. And so I'm going to use those two to decorate my jellyfish. And I'm going to take you step by step on how to make this jellyfish. So the first thing I'm going to do is just decorate my jellyfish right now. So... I'm just going to take some markers and I'm going to start by drawing some eyes and some designs and making my jellyfish that way. So I'm just going to take a marker. I'm going to use purple. I'm going to start making some eyes. So just like that. I'm just going to make some eyes. I'm gonna give my jellyfish some eyelashes, a nose, and a smile. It's my little jellyfish's face. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and add in some cool little designs. And the paper plates that you guys have are actual paper plates. I I'm using a styrofoam paper plate just because I used all the other paper plates in the Camp in a Box already. So I am just using a styrofoam plate. But it does work better with the ones that we gave you guys. So use those if you have that. Um, I'm just going to be adding in some designs. This is the part where it's just all customizable. I'm just going to add in some designs on my paper plate and different kinds of markers and use the paint as well. So at this point you can do um, whatever you want to do to your jellyfish. <coughs> Add in some blue. And now I'm going to open up our paint. I'm going to go in with the pink paint and I'm going to start painting. This jellyfish. And I don't think the color will show up super well on here because I'm using styrofoam, but <coughs> we'll see. So I'm just going to decorate it, add a whole bunch of paint. And this paint is super sparkly, which makes it even better for our jellyfish. So I'm just painting her. Fortunately, you can't see it that well on camera. The camera's not picking up how vibrant it is, but it's super, super sparkly. So I'm going to grab another color, I think I'm going to go in with the green, the green color. And you don't have to use the paint that we gave you guys, you guys can use acrylic paint. If you have acrylic paint at home, you can use that too. And I'm just going to go in with the green. 
put some green on there. Okay, and you're, you might gonna have to let this dry for a little bit, depending on how much paint you used. So, for the next step is where we're going to take a pen, or you can um, glue the strings as well. But I'm just gonna take a pen. If you have glue, you're going to cut up your strings in whatever size and how long, depending on how long you want them. And then there are two ways you can do this. I What I did is I poked a hole into this paper plate and I fed the, the string through and then I tied it at the back so it would stay. But what you can do, you can um, take the string and just put it behind and glue it down there. That works as well. So if you want to do the string option, just take a little pen and make a little hole where you want the string to go. So I made my hole right there and now I'm going to take a piece of the string and I'm going to feed it through this hole. Might take some trial and error to get it in there. But I'm just gonna feed it through. Just twist it. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just twisting it so that it fits through there. Once you get it through the hole there, you're just going to tie it in a knot. So that's just what I'm doing to secure it in place. And that way, it stays there. And then I'm going to just cut it off so it's the same length as the other string that I did. I'll cut these off here so they're not long and these are our two strings and the more that you add the more it'll start to look like a jellyfish so I'll do one more in case you want it to see it again so I'm just going to take my pen and I'm just going to poke a hole I'm going to take the string at that side. Okay. And I'm going to feed it through. Once I have it through, I'm going to pull it up a little bit so that I have enough room to secure it with a knot. And then push it all the way through so it stays in place. And then cut it off to match the other size of the strings. That's just the way that I am doing it. If you want to do it a faster way, it would just be to get glue and glue them or tape them at the back there. But I just did that one as well. So yes, you're going to continue to do this until you have as many strings as you would like. And then this is your paper plate jellyfish. So that is it for this craft. Super easy and super fun. And I can't wait to see all of your jellyfishes. And it's super sparkly in person. I uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get you guys to actually see it, but it's really, really sparkly and the colors are super pretty. So I can't wait to see the ones that you guys create. And yes, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you in the next craft video. Bye, guys.